Hey everyone, welcome back to Foxtech and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can disable low power mode on your iPhone. This feature is great for saving battery life, but sometimes you might want to turn it off and keep it off, more importantly. I'll walk you through the steps to do just that, so let's dive right in. First off, let's talk about what low power mode is. It is a feature on your iPhone that extends your battery life, but it just reduces background activity, performance, for example, your screen is going to be looking a little bit more like jittery, it's not going to be as smooth to like save battery, and also the battery icon turns yellow to indicate that. The easiest way to disable it is to do it momentarily through the settings app. So open up the settings, scroll down and tap on a battery. And here you'll see the low power mode toggle. So just switch it off and you're good to go. This will immediately turn off low power mode and return your iPhone to its regular performance. But if you want to make sure low power mode doesn't turn on automatically, well, typically your iPhone will prompt you to enable the low power mode when your battery drops to 20 or 10%. To prevent this, simply choose dismiss instead of enabling low power mode when the prompt appears. This way, your phone won't automatically switch to the low power mode and you'll have to be mindful of your battery usage when it gets low, but yeah, you don't have to enable it automatically. Now, there's another scenario to consider and you might have some shortcuts or automation setups that enable low power mode. To check this, open the shortcuts app and go through your automations that you have and make sure that there aren't any that activate low power mode without your knowledge. This step ensures that low power mode isn't being turned on through any preset or shortcuts. Additionally, it's a good idea to have the low power mode toggle easily accessible in your control center so you can customize your control center in the settings go there to that section and just add low power mode toggle if it's not already there this is the ios 17 version but as you know in ios 18 once it becomes official there's going to be like a new way to do that so it might be adjusted differently once the update is rolled out so yeah, this is essentially what you needed to do. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the next video.